I'm Scott. Cold wonder. Oh, cold wonder. It I'm is cold. The seat in is cold. So, yeah. I'm Scott. This is the cold beer wonder. <laughs> You're right there. Very cold. Um, wonder. Yeah. I'm very excited. Are you excited? Because our favourite brewery in the whole wide world, yeah. Stagger Only Good in Portsmouth, really yeah. have released yet another new beer. Oh, okay. Um, and Is it another vanilla one? Uh, no, oh. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm, so nice. we've, we've, we've stayed really good. We've had some, um, oh, hang on. These come down. Oh, Who's this? Who's this? I'm going to put Coca-Cola's as number one. And the Dippler Donut here. Changed mine. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Changed me board. Ah. Okay. I'm bored. Oh, bored. Oh, was you bored? Um, I yeah, so. what you did then. What's that? Board, 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 board. Um, it's changing, well, so yeah. I took it down. Okay, um, so I've, I've um, yeah, so I've changed my board. I've yeah. put Dodge Dip, uh, Duck Dip Dive and Dolce, yeah. the um, Tiny Rebel Stout, right, up in at number three because it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, bring out the imp, and I've added the Castile uh, Quad that Barry sent us, the chocolate, right. chocolate one. Anyway, right, anyway. So, anyway, from all that. Um, back to the big, really <laughs> back to Stag Really Good. Yeah. So, has it got vanilla in? Obviously, the the um the stuff that we've done for Stag Really Good, the last couple of times. I know your top two favourite beers now are the Coca Docus and yep. um, what's it called? Dip the Donut. Dip the Donut. Dip the Donut. I'm actually looking forward to going up there again and getting some more. Which was the uh, yeah the um the collab with Unbarred from um uh, it's very nice. Good idea. Wanda. Absolutely loved Dipla Donut. Yeah. Uh, so she's now, when we pop up to stay really good, she's now got two beers she likes. Yeah. It's going to be a difficult choice. And if in the summer they they rebrew the ultimate punch. Oh, I'll have three to choose. Oh, mind you, the stouts might not be around. Yeah, I imagine the stouts will probably be dead in the water till around um, uh, the winter time. Um, but they've brewed another, I think this is another um, limited edition series and it's one, uh, there was um, people invested in Stagger Only Good last year, I missed the investment because I didn't know about it um, or the year before, I can't remember which one it was, mm. so the people put some money into Stagger Only Good and what, they, what have they done I think is they've brewed this beer yeah. as a thank you yeah. to the people that put the, the money into the, into the um, it's got their names on it hasn't it? Yeah so it's, it's a peer, so this one's called Spared no expense. I like it. It's quite a cool cover. Yeah, so it's a, a bank note. Um, it's a double IPA coming in, mm. a lovely sessionable 8.1%. Oh, that's quite strong, isn't it? Now, in all honesty, yeah. we have tried yeah, a very audience, small um, tasting of this la uh, last I week. I liked it though, didn't I? Yeah, we popped in there and Joe, the owner, he yeah. came out and saw us and he'd seen the channel. Um, he took us, and they're moving all their stuff into their new premises behind. Uh, their new it's huge. It is huge. It's very it's shiny. Amazing. It's really good. Um, and I think they got, did they say they got all their stuff from Brood? Um, the, 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 um, um, the uh, kettles and all that from Brood Dog. Yeah. So what's all brew dogs? Oh, kit, yeah, I think. Um, Which is uh, pretty cool, isn't it? If my memory serves me right, if if it if it's not Joe, then you watch it and comment. Because um, we've got brains like sieves, and we've had a lot going on, so our brains are a little bit poorly. <laughs> yeah. So he he took us around. He took us out and showed us the the brewing stuff, and he gave us about um a third of of um this to try. But um, it, the I think it was, I think it was yeah. very young. I don't think it'd been carbonated either. Yeah. It's quite um, nice there. Yeah, um, like so really looking forward to say double IPA, 8.1%. Yeah. It's got a peel and reveal. I like the, peel, the old peel and reveals. And this one, all it is, is what they've done is they've named everybody, I don't know if you're going to see that, um, that's invested in them mm, as, their, as their thing. And I think that's a, a quite a nice little gesture. Um, and all it says is ingredients, as everything with staggeringly good wonder. Water, what the water? It's definitely good. Definitely good. Water, yeah. barley, oats, hops, and yeast. Okay. But they're not giving anything away. Okay. Okay. So it hasn't got vanilla. Are we excited? I don't 
Now it's you really taste, you tasted it this, liked it, and so. you quite liked it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. interesting to see what the actual finished product yeah. is like. Yeah. So let's get out and have a look. So I might compare it with the two favourite ones. So that's well, if you, I'll tell you what, if you're if you're comparing this to both Coca Dokus and Diplo Donut, yeah. I think I'm onto a loser straight away. I don't, that's, I don't think that there's any any way, shape, or form that Mac, this will match oh, up to them in your eyes. Beer. That's vanilla white stout was yummy. See, so Coca Dokus is still here yeah. on my board. I mean, it was my favourite. Yeah, but you like your beers. To be stuff. fair, I wiped my board clean at the beginning of the year. Coca Dokus yeah. was my favourite beer last year. It's yeah. an, it's a stout that just flies down. Mm -hmm. It's it's incredible. Is that me? Ooh, no so double IPA, hoping for a, a nice mm. creamy body would be nice. It does look creamy though. Leave a little, leave a little bit in there. It does look creamy. In the glass, orange juice. Thick orange Thick, juice. Thick, <laughs> bubbly orange juice. Nice amount of carbonation on the glass. Mm. Uh, on, a, on sitting on top, a lovely two finger white head. Let's give it a swirl and sniff one. Do you want to go first or me? Me go first. Here we go. Ooh, there's something in there. Okay. I can't grasp what it is. Okay. Definitely fruity. Yeah. But there's something else, you'll see what I mean. But I can't, like a peppery smell. Okay. I think. So, um, when I bought it today, mm. Joe served me, yeah. and he described the beer as a hot pocket. Yeah. So um, I'm, I imagine it's absolutely smashed. I do know it's got sabro in it. Okay, is okay. that what I could probably smell? Possibly. Well, sabro's um, it is, is it fruity, peppery? fruity. Um, it's also quite coconutty, cutty. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the other. It might have citra, mosaic. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. That's the sabro. Exactly. Yeah, well, it's, very, it's a very prominent. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't like it. Right. A lot of people do like it. It does give a very um, tropical flavor um, note to it, but there is a coconut aroma to it as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it is really fruity. Grapefruit, melon. Fruity, fruity. It's not melon, is it? You're getting. No, there's something from the back end I can smell, but I can't, I don't know what it is. Okay. Like it, a peppery. It smells smell. really juicy. It yeah. might have, um, it might have Nelson Sauvon in there, so it's probably something like that. But he's, he's not, they're not saying what hops are in it. But he did say, remember last week, he said there was Sabro in it. Okay. It smells, one, it smells lovely. Cheers. Yeah. It smells like your kind of thing. Like it? It's not hiding the ABV. It's not trying to. Right. So it does drink quite high. Right. Um, it's very juicy. Mm -hmm. It's got a lovely, creamy, pillowy mouthfeel to it. Cool. You're getting uh, it's piney. Um, grapefruit, yeah, grapefruit. You are getting the the um, the aromas and the um, the taste from mm -hmm. the sabro. Um, maybe a little bit of melon, a little bit of orange, yeah. tangerine, something like that. Okay. It's lovely. I like that. Wonder. Let's see how we get on. It's quite sweet as well. It's quite a sweetness to it. A lovely sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. Quite nice. I still like the other ones. So. It's it, there, it is really nice, actually. You can't really taste the alcohol. There's no, that, there's no, there's um, no, there's no. It is hoppy, but you're not getting the bitterness from the hops. There's no massive bitterness in it. It tastes different from the smell. Yeah, yeah. The aroma, the the aroma and the tasting notes are very different. Yeah. It does, uh, the taste doesn't come across what I thought. It, I smell, if you know that. Do you like it? There's a lovely sweetness to it. Yeah, there is a sweetness um, to it. Maybe that's why I like it. The carbonation's where I want it. As a, as a double IPA, it sits oh, really do. nicely. 
You like that as well? It's got, it's got it's, a sweet it is very, very sweet. Uh, not not very, no, that's not true. It's not, it's not very sweet. There is a lovely, juicy it's sweetness right. flying through it. There is um, orange. There is. I think there's a little bit of melon in it's there. Nice. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah. It's it is nice. Well done again. Another They've one. done it again. Get, get accused of bias. Um, we, we do. Certainly me. What do you mean? Um, so the, I've never had a bad, staggeringly good beer. But we I can haven't. honestly say, I've never had a bad sandy yeah. good beer. They are very... I won't keep on... You love them, but <laughs> I tried it and I was like, no, no, no. But yeah. I like the stouts, don't I? And this one's quite nice. But also... But you love it all. Also, you, you can, you can, now you've seen what goes on behind the scenes. Not just there, but we've done a couple of brewery tours. You see what goes on behind the scenes. Not hard work. And I think, I think that's helped with you our have to channel. appreciate it a bit more. I think that's helped with our channel because it's given you an insight. And an, yeah, and but I like that. Really. That is really, really nice. Yeah. Um, it's quite creamy. Very creamy. Not yeah. perfect mouthfeel. I am getting the hit from the, the alcohol. It is really nice. Um, very that. sweet. Maybe my taste buds are changing. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? It's not massive alcohol hit at all. No, I can't really taste the alcohol. It's quite, it's a sweet overpowers it. Is it? Um, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. So, yeah. Wanda, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Does it go on my board? I think we should have a separate board for staggering. Well, I'm just going to have a staggering good honest. board to see, see which would go up and down the bloody thing, to be honest. I think we should, honestly. Um, do you know what? They're all dark beers. What, well, up there? Yeah. Um, and I, 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 I gravitate towards no, this sort beers. of beer. Yeah, I know you do. I'm, I'm going to that. Um, so, <laughs> I'm going to be honest, because I think you've got to be honest on the yeah. channel. Um, I really like that. Yeah. Um, it's not better than Yellow Belly. It's not better than my opinion, because right. they're completely different styles. How do you put a style That's why we on need a board? A separate thing, I'm going to stick that in at number four, mm. because. For me, yeah. it's it does everything. Everything a double IPA I want it yeah. to do. Yeah. I think we should do a separate board, to be fair. I think we should just make this whole thing a board. Yeah. And what we do, we make it a whole chalkboard, yeah. and then we write up there the really good ones. Yeah, you should put, like, shop bought ones. Yeah. It's, 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 good ones. I wish I'd never started the boards, because it's such a fucking nightmare. It's an yeah. absolute nightmare. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, it's superb. Uh, what, another one that... And more importantly, mm. we haven't hit many mm. of the lighter stuff that you've liked. Yeah. Especially hitting an eight percent beer is. It doesn't taste like an eight percent. No, it doesn't. It, it, I'm getting a, a small kick in the alcohol, mm. but it's lovely, mm. absolutely lovely. It's really nice. Have a look well, on the have a look on their website. I think it's Staggering Good Beer or Staggering Good. I'll put a, a link in the, in the, um, the description. Check them out. Mm -hmm. um, they are. I think they're still selling their stuff via um, Brewdog as well because they've got a good relationship with Brewdog. Um, so if you can get hold of their stuff, then check them out because you will not be disappointed. No, definitely not. Um, um, find us on Instagram, Wonder Beer Wonder, Facebook, Wonder Beer Wonder, the Facebook group, Craft Beer UK. Comment down below, um, like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. All those other stuff that comes along with it. And Wonder, yeah. thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.